goodies for cheapest. Only just starting to come to the gate now. Must be some pretty full cows in there. <laughs> no, well, we better get in there before they arrive too many numbered. Look at her. These girls look really full and happy this morning. As usual, I'm going around checking the drains, trying not to get stuck. Speed, speed is my friend. That was lucky. Went down a little bit then. I don't know if you can see a poor neighbour there. He's got his crop ready to go. It's all ready. Just needs to be planted. Uh, amazing, does maize every year as well. It's just lemon rain just keeps falling. Can't crop it. That's right, we have crop days as late as uh, 19th of December. Yeah, all three bulls are out. There's Trim and Dale's one. Look at what he's got, the little bucket and the scissors. Or scissors. Uh, he's onto it. We thought we'd better start trimming tails again because uh, surely three times a year they get a bit dirty, crappy. There we go. Oh, Doesn't that tail look pretty? And then Dad goes and washes his hands and then washes them with teak spray. Get rid of those bugs off the tail because they have a tail seem to be quite a big, carry a lot of bugs. So we don't want to uh, have a chance of any, getting any mastitis off actually trimming their tails. Always wash your hands thoroughly and spray them out. Oh, one last, yep. That's a dirty tail. Wow. Couple of little dags left on there. Make it look nice and pretty. Make a fish look at her cow under her. <laughs> Out of uh, how many you've done so far, Dad? Probably about 40 odd cows. The tail? I went with it, not helping. No. Why the rains make them stand? Stand ass into the rain. Yep, make the tails get wet, and when they come down the race, it flicks the mud flicks up onto their tail, or. The crap goes on their tail from when they take a crap. There you go, pretty easy. He's quick. Here's your blister. No blister? Not yet. Another success for milking. Dad's just washing up now. Hey, Dad. Good job, good job. All right, I'm going to go and uh, we're going to put on the tandem trailer, our double axle trailer onto the back of our uh, green ute that I used this morning to get the cows in with and um, go pick up all the stuff from the calves, uh, the troughs, hay rack and uh, go put them away. Whereas dad said he needs, um, he needs two up his runoff, three, three up his runoff to go and uh, feed his 59 calves just to finish off that meal. There are nine bags left, so it'll take them another four or five days to feed that out. So. Got it. Go lock some cows away and go pick up some, um, go pick up the two hay racks and the six meal feeders. There we go, cows are locked away. Good, you got lots of grass in there. Let's go pick up some troughs. Right, so we've had uh, 26 mils. Uh, last night, even down the rain gauge, over the last week, we've had easily, easily over 60. And there's the swamp. Uh, definitely uh, duck haven out there. The ducks are happy. All that nice grass that was growing through that we saw a couple of days ago, gone back underwater. Oh well, that's just the beauty of the swamp. Sarah standing on the mound. Oh. Got all our calf, little uh, calf feeders there. That's how we got them out yesterday. There we are. All put away for now. We're still going to put away our cafeteria. Little cafeteria is in here too. And when Dad's finished with his two 
meal feeders, those little blue ones. Those two can go in here as well. Looks good. Right, Dad? Yeah. Beauty, yeah. all right. Yeah. Let's head out, let's go up to Dad's place. We're gonna feed his calves some meal. Got our two meal troughs on board, ready to go. Everyone knows what that means. Got the LIC truck here. Means uh, we got herd test tomorrow morning. Well, let's go load up some bags yeah, of meal. We've got the meal on board too, nine bags. LIC fella, setting up the sheds. LIC rep and milk tanker. Jesus, that's perfect timing. Yeah, here he goes. Thank you. Yeah, he's got a busy day ahead. Unfortunately, Pond here at the moment is quite short of tanker drivers, so. Yeah, he's got a busy day. Yeah, we got more rain. Beautiful. Smoke's gone, we sent 51.32. It's not too bad. Oh, uh, yeah, they're all spread out across the paddock. Oh, you see how Dad goes. This is the hard part going back up the hill over there. Where are you putting it? Up by the trough. Up by the trough. Okay. There we go. Oh, look, Harvey's fed. We got some in the other paddock. Are we going to grab those out? Look at all the grass I've got. They're happy. Come on, Suggies. Let's try bringing them back through the fence down here. That's where they got through. Don't know where he's going. He's going for a drive right up the top. There they go, back in the right paddock. Yeah, they fed little carvies. All right, close this gate again and um, time for breakfast. This is the dad's rising two-year-olds. Driving wind, they're looking good. They know where to go, eventually. Afternoon everybody and afternoon Mackenzie. First place. Just finished washing the vat. Good girls. Yeah mum. Dad's getting the girls in. Now, good girls, sorry 190. Does everyone know what these little things mean? Yes, that means a herd test. Time to see how well these girls are milking. Takes uh, about a week or two weeks before we get our results three days before we get our somatic cell count results. So we're not herd testing tonight. We're just doing a general milking with the, all the system set up. I love herd tests, so we'll be seeing how well these girls are milking. We can see actually about two or three cows, they're actually starting to dry themselves off, which can happen this time, this sort of around now. What will happen is uh, we'll check to see how well they're milking. If their smack cell counts are high and their tests are low, that means they're drying themselves off. Your smack cell count will start to go up when the cows start drying themselves off, but that is usually not meant to be now. They're far too early, so what will happen is they'll finish up and they'll, uh, unfortunately, they'll uh, have to be sent to the sow yards and more than likely go off to the works. But yeah, that's all right, that's what happens. But we've only got two or three that are doing that, so out of 248 at the moment. So, um, yeah, just how it is. It's 205. Alright, well, I better get ready to go to milk. Well, let's see how well we go. So, what I've done, I've just gone along and lifted them all up. You undo this piece here and push it up because uh, they've put them all a bit too low. So, we want them up about this bit here. So, it raises that from about uh, eye level up to about here. So, just above the head there. Sweet. So, there we go. There's a flask filling up from the first row. But yep, we'll just keep the milk in there. What'll happen is it'll fill up and because it can't fit any more space in it, we'll just go down here through the milk tubes and into the, uh, up and into the can there. So shows you how well they're milking. It does, a, I don't know what the percentage is. It does a certain percent of their milk sort of just goes through into there. But 
It shows you some of the milk and well. Jeepers McKenzie. It's not bad. There you go. Go on, bully. There you go. Good boys. Hey, just in time. Yeah, it's just there. They're right in the front of the circle today. You got a lump there, mate. Keep an eye on you. Uh, come ball up there you go, go. the race is on two rows out and i've only just left we didn't even hold them up they just decided to wait uh, they're pretty full tonight a lot of them chewing their cuts happy as eating their meal good girls here's that 007 agent 99 nickname 007 all right go girls in you come not much room in here with these little buggers these flasks yeah, much. What are they all looking at over here? The race is on to the young grass paddock. They're looking at the carryovers, which are underneath the trees over here. So they think they're going close, but they're really going further. Hey, eh? good girl. She likes a bunch of scratches. Yeah, she likes head scratches. There you go. Oh, better get back in there. Get back to work, Carl. Yep. His turn tonight. Yeah. Your poop done. We don't empty these ones out. We grab these and we take them back and put them in the uh, containers because these have lost their uh, preservative that goes in them to stop them from going off. So that gives them time to test them. So they just go back into the pile of the other ones that, well, back in a pile that haven't been that have been used, but not to be tested. Sort of. I think too is a good idea. Check and see how much water goes through each set of cups because they're all at different levels. You yep. can see if you've got any blockages anywhere, so that's right. also another thing to keep an eye out for. Yep, was we did notice one year that we were washing them, we are washing the cups through, and as the water was going through, there was one set of cups that had done good during the herd test, but the level wasn't up to there, it was more like down here, barely had anything in it. So we checked the jetter, this bit here, and the jetter had been blocked up. So it couldn't actually get any, um, couldn't wash, and that's why it's good to herd test as well. That's another positive. <laughs> right, well, we'll keep going. Dad's doing most of them up there, only number five. See? And uh, in the morning, I'll come along and put new ones in. So it gives it time to dry out. Uh, Dad just noticed that this one here, as we are talking about before, didn't have as much water in it as the rest. And he has noticed that the jetter there, it's got a good split down there. So we'll replace that, that piece there. Still use these. So yeah, that's not good. Oh well, just replace it. He up. just noticed where it was one, but uh, no, nope, it's on every single corner. Jeepers. So yep, that needs yeah, a replacement. Brand new one, no houses, no splits in that one. Sweet. Dad's going to go and put it back in. Hey, Easy peasy, just like that. Done. There you go, we're all set up for head, head tests. One, two, three, four, all the way up to 288. Our highest number is 273, so that's got us all set up. And these were extras, so they give you, they give us uh, 245 cows, but we do write the numbers on them still the old-fashioned way. They would only give us an allotted amount plus your extras if we um, if we didn't do it this way. But it's the old-fashioned way, but it works for us. So we got mum coming in the morning to do these flasks, put them in the right numbers in the right holes. There's coming to get the cows in. And me and dad, dad's writing numbers on and there and I are cupping the cows. So easy peasy as you're seeing here. There's a little blue stuff in there. That's the uh, preservative. So it can last till it gets tested. Awesome. All right. We got any dad? How many have you found? Dad's found three with the little cracks in them that could have been leaking air, so. Yeah, not good. The old, some of them are old. We found them. Yep, that's good, as Dad says. We have found them, and that's what we want to do. Right, I'm going to go lock the cows away. I'll leave Dad to it. Right, see you in the morning, Dad. See you in the morning. Happy with the girls. They're doing well. Good girls. Yeah, still drinking at the top of the truck there. Wow. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Are you fellas ready to go in with the uh, cows tomorrow? Yeah, it's your turn. Good boys.